Dubai is still trying to dry out after that torrential rainstorm that struck the Sheikhdom as well as the wider United Arab Emirates on Tuesday, dumping that record amount of rain. At Dubai International Airport, which is the busiest for international travel, they're starting to allow other airlines to land there at their Terminal 1, and Emirates, the long-haul carrier synonymous with Dubai, has begun also admitting passengers from the Dubai side into the airport over the last couple of days since the storm. They've only really been servicing those who are already in Dubai on connecting flights, trying to get them onto their other location, as they were struggling to have room on the runway and the taxiways for all the aircraft coming in and coming out. The sign that they're opening up the check-in really shows that they're trying to get everything back on track, but it may still be days to rebook all those passengers who have already had their travel disrupted. That's a huge thing for Dubai, which is also a major tourist hub. Now, today I was out in Dubai in a couple of different locations. In some spots, it looks like business as usual. People are back out at the grocery store. They're out in the community, some riding bikes, some out with their families as school was uh, declared off for the rest of the week as well as some people were working from home but in other pockets it's actually getting worse and one community that's out in the desert known as Mudan the water actually has risen in the last day or so that's what residents there told me as I waded through about a meter deep water there they blamed a sewage treatment plant from up the road that would stop pumping as well as some other issues that really had seen that water dump down meanwhile we're still seeing the police ambulances and other rescue personnel out on the streets at that uh, Mudan area. They did have pumps out. They were trying to pump. They had civil defense officials with rafts going through the flooded streets, handing out bottles of water. And people said, said that they appreciated the work that was being done, but acknowledged there was more yet to do. I'm John Gambrell with the Associated Press for CGTN in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates.